Hey guys, Raul here. And yesterday at dinner, uh, we were discussing with some co experts about why people succeed and why they don't. And we figured out a paradox, a disease, an epidemic that's going around in cold email. And in this video, I want to show you how bad advice sometimes actually helps you make more profits. Before we get started, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button so I can keep creating more of these videos and let's get into it. So the symptoms are, if you're asking questions like which domain provider to use, which email provider to use, should I use Soho or G Suite, the technical setup, how to do SPF, TKIM, what the warm-up limit should be, which data provider to use, what verification tool to use, what, what subject line is good right now? What kind of copy should I be using? Should I be using links in the email? Should I be using images? What are the daily sending limits? When to send emails? What to respond to interested leads? If you're asking these questions, then I'm sorry to tell you, you have the disease. Uh, you are one of those people that is overthinking a lot of the cold email. And there are people out there that might be much less experienced than you, but they're making more money. And the cure is, it's simple. It's just send it. The dude that's sending 5K emails with no custom tracking domain, no tech setup and generic emails will make more money than a dude with a perfect email setup sending a couple of hundred emails. So literally we realized this, that uh, we have some clients that after making 20, 30K with cold email, they're asking us like, hey, what's what's the custom tracking domain? They were sending it the entire time without the custom tracking domain. We have clients that have no warm-up uh, set up or warm-up activated, they're making money. We have clients that don't have T-Mark set up. They have some like red uh, icons in instantly that the T-Mark hasn't been set up correctly and they're making money. So they're not overthinking it. They're just sending a bunch of emails and making more money. Even if you burn all of your domains, you're going to end up with some clients, hopefully, and make more money. So it goes a little bit against the grain. It's That's why it's like bad advice. Obviously, the best case scenario would be you do all of these things. There's like a perfect cold email setup. But what I want to get across is you don't have to worry about these things. The main goal, what you should be worrying about is getting out as many emails as possible. Just reaching out to people. Stop overthinking. Stop having this like limiting belief that you need to have the perfect setup, everything set up correctly. And while it sounds counterintuitive, at some point, this perfectionism is, is not good. It's holding you back. And there are like just people out there that aren't as good as you at cold emailing. They don't know anything, but they're just sending emails. Even if you use your Gmail, like you don't need to have the means. Just people that are sending emails are going to make more money. And that's the main point of this video. So the cure is, just send it, just start sending emails. Stop worrying about, even if you're in like the warm up cycle right now, you can test sending a couple of emails a day. Like nothing bad's gonna happen. The worst things can happen, you're, you're gonna make money. Like that's the downside. So the main thing to remember is you still need a good offer and large enough target group. But all of this nitty gritty, SPF, what domain, everything like that, it doesn't really make a difference if you have a good offer. It doesn't really make a difference what kind of copy you use, what subject line you use. Like if you have a really good offer, the fundamentals are in place and you have a large enough target group that you can start blasting emails, you're going to make money. If you don't have these and you have perfect these, it's much harder to make money than having perfect offer, large enough target group, and then you just ram them emails as much as possible. I'm not telling you to spam randomly. That's why you need a good offer and a target group that actually will benefit from your offer. Don't do anything illegal. Don't spam people. You still need to be offering people something that they need, something that they will get value out of. But stop overthinking all of these questions, all of the main cold email questions. Start sending. Once you're getting responses, you can worry about this. But don't let these things hold you back. Uh, in the Instant Accelerator, we have so many uh, topics and videos, uh, SOPs about everything like this, and you can go through it and you can learn them. But I would rather 
much rather have you start sending sooner without knowing what SPF DKM is. You can start sending, like, just try it out. Start with your Gmail, just start sending. And always like those dudes, the action takers are gonna make more money. For whatever reason, they don't have that limiting belief. They don't take cold email so seriously. And maybe that's another thing that people think that when they're starting out, cold email is like so serious. Uh, other kinds of marketing channels, like if you're doing like Facebook ads, Google ads, it it is like more uh, official, maybe more like professional and cold email can be that. But at the end of the day, we're just reaching out to people. And if our offer is beneficial for them, we're trying to help them. And obviously, like we want to make money, but if we have a good offer, we're going to help them make more money too. We're going to help them succeed with their business. Like that's, that's all it is. We're just reaching out to other people, other humans. So like we're all in this together. It's not something scary. You don't have to have everything step by step. But yeah, still keep it legal. Don't spam people, but just send it. Start sending those emails. I think like if if I'm gonna do webinars and I call with people, like the first thing I'm gonna ask like if people come to me like hey like Raul my email campaign didn't work, and I ask like how many emails you sent and is it like hundred? Like, I'm not even gonna take the call anymore. It's like if you haven't sent like thousand five thousand emails, like I can't take you seriously. Like you have to send the volume out first and then we figure out what works same thing with copy we won't know what works before you send out those emails once you start sending them out you start learning things you start learning what subject line works what kind of target group works for you what kind of messaging resonates with people you start getting all this input all this data all this information and then you can turn it into a really profitable campaign maximizing optimizing for all of these smaller things but yeah just send it just send it just send it so hopefully it will motivate you to stop overthinking, just sending more emails and you will make more money. If you want to learn anything about cold email, everything is in instantly. You go instant.ai, we have a free trial. And if you go here in the bottom left, instant accelerator, we have everything from the niche and offer, which is the most important part. So if you nail your niche and offer, again, then all of this small technical stuff don't matter that much. But if you have a bad offer, you can have a perfect setup. It doesn't help. And then we're going to help you with the setup, how to get leads, copywriting, campaign management, optimizing, and then sales, closing those people. So hopefully this helped. If you got any insights, press subscribe, press like, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.